We have got breaking news in the legal showdown over those classified documents seized from Donald Trump's Florida club. The fight over those highly sensitive records now heads to a federal appeals court. Just hours ago, the Justice Department filed its appeal for part of Judge Aileen Cannon's latest ruling. Tonight, DOJ is asking the appeals court to block Cannon's order preventing the Justice Department from using classified documents that were recovered at Mar-a-Lago. On Thursday, Cannon named another judge, Raymond Deary, as special master in the case. She wants him to finish going through all 11,000 documents taken from Trump's club by November 30th. And he is already getting started. Today, he told both the DOJ and Trump's legal team to appear in court for a meeting on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Washington Post reports Donald Trump's team misrepresented the documents that were taken to Mar-a-Lago. The Post writing this, quote, months before the National Archive officials retrieved hundreds of classified documents in 15 boxes from the former president's Mar-a-Lago club, they were told that none of the material was sensitive or classified and Trump only had 12 boxes of, quote, news clippings, according to people familiar with the conversations between Trump's team and the archives. Earlier this evening, Congressman Eric Swalwell spoke to my colleague Chris Hayes about the possibility of Trump still having classified documents in his possession. Are you convinced that the FBI has everything that he might have at this point? No, no, Chris. If he has top secret documents, certainly on the other side of his possession of that, we would want to know what foreign nationals has he been in contact with, what foreign nationals around Mar-a-Lago has he been in contact with.